So here we are in the large uh, chicken coop area at the back of our friend's home. Uh, this is where they have their chickens, which are one of the main money makers for the family. Um, you can see it's a very large area. There's a bit that's walled off there. They used to have turkeys there. There was lots and lots of turkeys there. Um, some families in the village actually pull together money to buy a large amount of live turkeys. And then they, they raise the turkeys and they, they're all gone now. They're all sold off. But this is where the chickens are. Um, there's hundreds of chickens in here. It's a pretty big area. Uh, also, another nice thing is because of all the excrement that the chickens drop everywhere, this is really good ground for growing fruit. So there's lots of papaya trees, nice big papayas, lots of nice fruit. And back here... Back here, they've also got banana trees. So these are not Cavendish bananas, which are the same thing as the bananas in, I don't know, 95% of supermarkets nowadays. These are native bananas, dye bananas. They're indigenous to this area. Um, areas like this around the world are actually more and more important now in preserving the biodiversity of bananas. Especially since Cavendish bananas around the world have started to get a lot of diseases. And if there's no biodiversity, one plague or something could just wipe out the entire world supply of bananas. So uh, native banana types like this are more and more important these days. And here's one of the chicken coops. You can see that the chickens are mainly free ranging. They can't escape, there's walls, but it's a really big area and they just kind of roam around living their best chicken lives. But here's the chicken coop, which is built out of old bits of wood, bamboo, old doors and stuff like that. And so the chickens do have somewhere to run away to. At night time, they can roost in here or when they feel unsafe. There's not many chicken hawks here. There's a few chicken hawks further out from the city, but they don't really come near the city or the villages. So the chickens are pretty safe here, but they're still very timid animals. Well, anyway, uh, that's just a little bit uh, from our friend's house here in Mungian village in Dehong, uh, which is right in the southwest corner of Yunnan on the border with Myanmar. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video and have a nice day. Bye bye.